I have a long-standing interest in psoriasis, really since medical school. I've been, over 20 years now I've been studying this disease. Uh, and I got interested in it for several reasons. One, it's a very common condition. It affects about 8 million people in the country, over 120 million people worldwide. I felt that you know, most of our patients who have skin diseases were poorly understood by their physicians. And over time I came to really admire people who suffer with you know, chronic and curable skin diseases. Uh, that place a lot of burden on them. So in the last uh, five to ten years, we've had major breakthroughs in understanding complicated skin disorders, including psoriasis. We have subspecialists who are leading national experts in every subdivision of disease category. So we have top psoriasis clinicians, and psoriasis researchers. It was really poorly understood when I was getting involved and interested in studying the disease. It was only at the beginning of understanding that the immune system prior played a role in why people have psoriasis in their skin. And what my research showed about a decade ago is that when people have uh, more severe psoriasis, the type of psoriasis that requires pills or injectable medications or phototherapy to manage, they tend to have higher rates of cardiovascular disease. Uh, and that higher rate tends to be related to psoriasis, not necessarily other risk factors like smoking or being overweight, for example. We do two types of research. One is trying to understand that, uh, you know, how doctors educate patients in the real world setting, our ability to make sure people get the standard age-appropriate medical care, because it may be that just better treating known risk factors for heart problems, for example. And then the second part of the work is understanding when we use our various treatments, are we lowering the risk of vascular disease? Are we treating not just psoriasis in the skin, but are we actually lowering inflammation throughout the body in a way that would lower the risk of, say, having a heart attack or a stroke? No place would be better qualified to meet the missions of uh, research, patient care, and education than being in the setting of a great university like the University of Pennsylvania.